Now the second speaker is uh, Arno Metzler, the president of Group 3, the Diversity Europe, also for Germany. He's there. Yeah, Herr President, Herr Minister, uh, Herr President. Minister, President. Uh, for once, we are able to exchange views in our own mother tongue with our guest, which is, of course, a nice thing. No, we always joke that we've got so many things in common in, between Austria and Germany, except for the language. But it's just a joke. I think we share many things, Minister. No, I support group, I represent group three, civil society and its organizations, all of the diversity that it represents, not just employers and employees in this committee. We also have all of those other organizations who, for instance, offer um, assistance to refugees who are very active right now in those countries which are currently most affected by uh, the situation surrounding migration and those uh, also which are working to improve integration who might be less affected by the most immediate matters uh, we're all looking to austria to see how you are going to strike this balance uh, between the values that europe stands for the security for all people and the security of the uh, europe's citizens and not seeing these as being a counter uh, to each other, but rather to being able to strike a balance between all of them. That's why we're so eager to have this dialogue with you. We hope that we can ensure, as we arrive at a situation where the values that we all share in Europe are protected and maintained and upheld. And at the same time, we're able to ensure the necessary guarantees that you spoke of in terms of security and allaying uh, our citizens' concerns and fears. This is a very interesting field to be moving in right now. It's also related to the idea of creating a European identity, which I think we can and should be doing. Here too, I would ask that the Austrian presidency take action there to ensure that we work together to make progress, to create a common shared European identity on the basis of our values. The challenge of migration really is just one aspect of this. There are many issues as well, I think, which also require cooperation working together and let me just say to you that we will be working very hard to produce an uh, opinion for you and to help contribute to your work the questions of digital trade free trade mff citizens uh, participation we will be your partner speaking on behalf of civil society for all of that work and let me just assure you that all of our colleagues here our friends from all of our member states uh, are not going to want to be brought before the courts for humanitarian action, such as we've seen of late in Italy, threats being made along those lines. I'm sure that we can work together with the Austrian presidency in order to defend humanitarian issues and humanity, and that we can come together around these issues. And I look forward to your next actions. Thank you.